Thank you for watching my video. My name is Mr. Charles Wanike. In today's video tutorial, we'll be discussing on transistor and types of transistors. In today's video, we have been discussing on other topic diode, capacitor, and so on and so forth. So in today, it will be on transistor and pin types. In that transistor, we'll be discussing on small signal transistor, two main types of transistor, which is a uh, VJT and uh, FET, and also we'll be discussing on uh, what is a transistor and the transistor tree, and uh, as well as uh, other transistor like uh, power transistor as well but before we proceed on that please i would like to say if you like my video subscribe to my channel comment like and share let's proceed with this transistor and it types of transistor so in that case that this word transistor the word transistor um I really want to explain what this trans and uh, ISTOR means as well trans because I want to share it and explain exactly what it means and why it is called the transistor. So the word trans means transfer property, it's transferred property and what is the property that is transparent is transparent either voltage or current okay the word CTOR being ISTOR means transfer greatest sound property offer to the junction so that is what it means trans so once you combine it it means transistor is to transfer um, voltage or or uh, current to the junction so the other one which means sector is so is is also to transfer the resistor that will be resisting either the voltage or current to that junction so that is the reason why it is called transistor so in that case transistors transistors are designed primarily they are designed then primarily to function as a switch some as to function as a switch and also others to function as an amplifier for amplification and some as a function as both amplifier and switching so uh, on the process we will be discussing each of them in detail i believe that that is where you will confirm the specific one that work uh, the one that specifically function as a switch and the one that specifically function as an amplifier and the one that function on both sides both switch and Application. So that is when we will be discussing each and uh, each of them in details. So the question, the question is, what is transistor or what is a transistor? So I, from my own definition, the way I understand what transistor is all about is it is. A switching device which regulates and amplifies the electrical signal like voltage or current. I repeat the definition of transistor once again because I will be giving you two types of uh, transistor definition. So, this first one is it is a switching device which regulates and amplify the electrical signal like voltage or current.
for instance, from what I said about the transistor, the main purpose of it, it has been obviously mentioned in this definition, which I said it regulates. It is a switching and also regulates. It is a switching device which regulates and amplifies. So switching is there and also amplify electrical signal like voltage or current. So the second definition of this uh, transistor is transistor is a semiconductor device which transfer a weak signal from low resistance circuit to high resistance circuit. So any of them that you prefer as a definition it is less for you to choose but the two definitions are hundred percent correct so let's go to types of uh, transistor we'll be discussing on types of transistor so that um, you will really know or understand types of transistor there are two main types of transistor transistors which the number one is Bipolar junction transistor abbreviation BJT and the second one is field inset transistor, which in a short form it is called um, FET. So in that case, the BJT being a bipolar junction transistor, it has three terminal. It has three terminal. And that three terminal, it it uh, the names of those three terminals are emitter, base, and connector, and it has two junction types. What are the two junctions? The two junctions are P types and N types. And uh, secondly, the BJT can be classified into two types, which which are N MPN and PMP. The MPN signifies negative, positive, negative, while the PMP also signifies it signifies positive, negative, positive. And also remember that uh, BJT are current control device. I really want to show you the symbols and uh, also the image of the BJT as well as I am talking now. So this, this, all these are the symbols of BJT. Uh, it's obvious that you can see emitter, current, and base. One is a uh, MPN, while the other one is a uh, PMP, which I say. MPN is negative, positive, negative, while PMP is a positive, negative, positive. For instance, you see the, the image. The other one, the previous one was the, was the, uh, what's it called? The symbol, while this one is the image. This is the image aspect of BJT. There are other ones that I will also uh, show you. One who will be discussing other uh, the the BJT in details. I will be I will show you the, the image as well. So these are the these are the symbol and the image of BJT aspect of things. I believe you you have seen it so far and. These are the symbols. You can see that in this MPN, the arrow is down, is pointing downward, while in MPN, in MPN, the arrow is pointing upward. When I will be discussing it in details, I will explain, I will give more explanation on this. So let's um, proceed. Let's proceed as well. We will be this. Okay. And remember that um, BJT is a current control device. Okay, let's go to field-inferred transistor. 
feed infant transistor which have three terminals they are gate drain and source and feed infant transistor are classified into two as well they are also classified into two the number one is j feed infant transistor and uh, the second one being the two is insulated gate field infrared transistor or you can also call it metal oxide semiconductor field infrared transistor abbreviation is mosfet so in that case this mosfet is a voltage control device while the other bjt which i have said before is um, uh, a current uh, control device BJT is a current control device while FET is a voltage control device and is also a bipolar transistor because they perform signal channel operation because they perform single channel uh, operation while the BJT remains a bipolar transistor. Let me also show you the image of F um, E T so that this is these are the uh, the symbols and uh, when we go to when we will be discussing each of them in details I believe that you will understand what all this is all about you will understand B channel and uh, also N channel type for these are the um, yeah, the transistor being the feed infrared uh, symbol, how it has been drawn, and uh, this is just the symbol aspect of it. And this is the feed infrared image, the end product. This is how it looked like at the finishing product when you will be seeing it in electronics, be any kind of electronics, because the majority of electronics uses all this. And uh, some of them are in surface mantle device, which are in laptop, also in cell phones that we are enjoying today. So it has been transformed to to surface mounted mounted devices. So this is how it also looks like. In case if you have not seen it, this is exactly how it looks like. So this uh, this this particular one is uh, the transistor trees. The transistor trees is just to summarize what we will be discussing in details, much details. Remember, I told you that uh, we will also be discussing other small signal transistor, power transistor, and so on and so forth. But this one is where I summarize what will be discussing in details about transistor because this transistor tree comprises all the transistor that we'll be discussing in details so this is uh, what you uh, what we are going to discuss for instance transistor type just as i said before we have bjt we have fit infant transistor in bjt it has mpn and bmp which I have already said this MPN is a um, um, negative, positive, negative. Why BMP is positive, negative, positive. Why in this feed infrared transistor, which I also told you that it has to, it, it is classified into two. A uh, junction feed infrared transistor will be also be discussing on the deflation mode. Which it has N channel, it also has B channel in terms of junction and uh, field infrared transistor. Now, in this um, metal semiconductor field infrared transistor, it also has displacement mode and enhancement mode. And in displacement mode, it has N channel and B channel, and also in enhancement. Mode, it has N channel and N 
and also the channel. So these are the uh, the introduction aspect of it, and this is what we will be discussing in details when we will go specifically if we are to discuss PJT and uh, we will discuss it much more and how it functions, every details of it we will be discussing it so that you will understand how it works. But the only thing that I want to do is because this video is all about alternative to practical, as uh, time goes on, just as I said, I will be reading those transistors, everything, both capacitor and so on and so forth. You see how it reads, and I will be showing you the practical how to read it and solder it and unsolder it and so on and so forth. But this one that I'm talking now, it would enable me not to explain much more, but we will be discussing it practical aspect of. I believe that um, you have heard everything that I have just said before, and this is where we we'll end this video. Please, before we end this video, I would like to say if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next video.